In this video, we start the downtown area of 22ville, our custom LEGO City project where we build a unique house for every Series 22 CMF. Today, in the very center of the city, we're creating a Jumbotron YouTube screen, home to the Chili Costume fan. Ah yes, the obligatory sandwich board costume figure. These are always cool. I like the street clothes outfit beneath the costume. This one even comes with an extra hair piece. But when are you ever going to use this piece other than as a pepper costume? The thing I love about Lego is how customizable the system is. You can really turn anything into anything. But with highly specialized parts like this, using your imagination isn't really an option. You're almost forced to use this part in the intended way. And if you try otherwise, no, stop. Licensed figures with specialized pieces are one thing. You can typically still customize them to an extent. Plus, people have prior attachment to these characters. No one in their right mind has a prior attachment to this thing. Or, I shouldn't say that. There are countless videos on YouTube of people willingly subjecting themselves to the pain and suffering of eating hot peppers, and they rack up millions of views. Do you actually enjoy watching people torment themselves? Is this like a train wreck to you? I don't know. YouTube itself is kind of killing imagination as well these days for both the content creator and the consumer. People only make and watch what works nowadays. A highly specific spectrum of videos that really discourages creativity. So today, in what just so happens to be the 100th public video on this YouTube channel, that's kind of cool, we are going to attempt to combine this imagination killer with this imagination killer to hopefully cancel each other out and make something truly creative. Is, is that how that works? I'm not sure why I always blurred the final result here. You all saw the thumbnail. We're building a YouTube desktop page. I want it to include all of the major parts, like the logo, recommended feed, title, channel, definitely the subscribe button, we can't do without that one. And of course, the video itself, including the little scrub bar on the bottom. The floor of the video area, where the digital form of Pepper Lady is going to live, will determine the scale for the rest of this thing. In front of that is the semi-transparent scrub bar, with the red indicating how much of the video you've watched. There are ways to build the details here, like the play button out of Lego. Some of them look decent, but for the scale we're working at, I'm not even gonna try. Official Lego sets use stickers or prints for the smaller details, for better or for worse, so I'm just gonna make my own play button, volume, full screen, and setting stickers out of this white adhesive paper. They were a ridiculous pain to cut out. By the time I got to the settings, which turned out a little janky, I just I couldn't care enough to redo it, and filled in the rest of the circle with pen. Let's give this video an obnoxious pink background wall, in which we can build a clip to hold a massive flame for some special effects. The milk doesn't really fit in either of her hands though, so let's build a little table to hold its, a plate of peppers I stole from a taco truck, and this brick built pepper. With some cool emojis floating around, I think we should be done. This is supposed to be a commentary about low effort garbage on YouTube after all. We, we don't want to put too much time into this. So let's fill in the white space of the rest of the screen. Apologies to all you dark mode users out there, I don't have enough dark gray bricks to even consider that. Down below we'll put a circular tile and a very important red tile for later details. Details, and above, a little more space for the name and logo of the site. Even before we print out the rest of the details, this layout is instantly recognizable, at least from the front. <laughs> Every other angle looks absolutely atrocious at the moment. Like, why are there two separate bricks that say two, three on them? <laughs> but the great thing about this project is that I can be lazy and say it's just a commentary about the state of YouTube. Everyone just cares about the facade and such, I don't know. Only thing, the video portion itself is a bit dark. You must not have a professional lighting setup. So let's actually punch a hole in the roof to pop in this janky light fixture made from a crystal ball taped to a fake candle. We can even toggle it on and off. I'll just have to remember to build an access port to the switch later. And now, uh, the part that I've been dreading. DIY Lego stickers. <sighs> Unlike the scrub bar details from earlier, I'm not going to painstakingly cut out every letter of the text. Remember, this is, this is a commentary. But the alternative? Printing everything out won't be much easier. I'll need to measure out every little part of the screen, find the conversion rate between printer paper and Google Docs on my computer screen, pull out the old calculator, and start plugging away. I may be awful at Mario on this thing, but at least I can do math. I've done this whole printing business a few times before, and it's usually a good idea to do a practice print before committing to a whole page of color, so let's see how that goes. Um, it looks way too big, but at least with this particular one I can just cut off the edges and there's no difference. But what went wrong here? What am I doing? Yeah, printer paper is eight and a half inches wide, not eight. Boy, <laughs> I should just stick to Mario. With the correct conversion rate figured out, I pounded out the rest of the calculations and began resizing all of the images we'll be using accordingly. It was awful. Printing all of them used every last drop of color ink we had, 
And although cutting them out was annoying, and even messed this one up, I have to admit that the spectacle of seeing these images in real life was well worth the pain and mess I had caused. We've got the YouTube logo, profile picture, subscribe button, <clears throat> and recommended videos. By the way, I use a Chrome extension to hide the recommended feed normally. It helps me be more productive. So I didn't realize this was completely wrong until it was too late. Oh well. Or, uh, commentary. That, that's it. I'm not going to begin to describe the utter frustration it was to create and resize all of these text-based stickers, but same kind of deal. You print them out, cut them out. <sighs> I will never complain about official Lego stickers again. They are a cakewalk compared to what I've been through today. We've got the standard YouTube title for the thumbnail and this universe's version of it, 22.2. And there's a search bar. I had to move around the recommended feed to add titles to the videos. This video's title, ironically enough, I had to remove the not clickbait from the title. Probably makes it a little bit more truthful if we're being honest. It's got 10 billion hits and there's only 7 billion people on the planet. Then we got the channel name and the like button. No dislike button, obviously. No comments either. This is a commentary after all. Wait, comment, commentary? Most importantly of all, this red button right here looks way better when it's gray. Don't you, don't you think? Maybe you should, maybe you should try it. But wow, this whole thing really turned out nice. Again, exclusively from the front. I think it's time to fix that though. Not by making it better, of course, but just covering it up commentary. Seriously though, the device you're watching this on probably doesn't look all too fancy around the back, and it was frustrating enough just to fill in these gaps as is, with minimal details. To get at the light switch inside, I just made the entire top removable, and I think that'll do it. There's still more details I want to add after we add it into the city, but so far, we basically have this sweet looking tablet to watch one very specific video on. Kinda like those paper phones you'd make as a kid. It, it just took a lot more time and effort. Or paper DS, those were the best. My paper DS had tons of games on it, let me just tell you. <laughs> Anyways, as commentary as it would be to just lazily place this in the city square as is, we should probably prop it up with some support so more people can see it. I love these little red girder pieces. I've tried to make some sort of Donkey Kong display with them in the past. That's maybe a project for another day, but I think they'll work perfectly here. Some surround sound speakers, a webcam or something. Does this really need a webcam? And all the machinery required to keep this puppy powered on 24 seven. Again, I don't know why these videos are so popular, but we also need to build some stadium style seating because for some reason, a huge crowd of people always comes to watch it. These are just some super generic minifigures, not technically citizens of 22ville, but since everyone we've built a house for so far is on the outskirts of town and not so interested in tuning in, I figured we'd fill up the audience for the time being with some extras. And that concludes this channel's 100th video on YouTube. A YouTube commentary about making a YouTube desktop page? Wow. Not a super special way to celebrate 100 videos, but hey, it's not like a subscriber milestone or something. If anything, you should be thanking us. <laughs> No, seriously. Thank you for watching this and any of our other now triple digits of weird videos. Also, thank you for 4,000 subscribers. This sub count probably won't stay accurate for long, and I'm super grateful for that. If you made it this far, comment the word Terry down below, and you gotta make that red button gray. I'm telling you.